I'm Hannah Fitzpatrick. I'm a poet from North Platte High School. Choo-choo! And my poem is called, My Looks Do Not Define Me. I may not know everything about myself. Which color is my favorite when all of them help paint the world into the beautiful and twisted reality that it is? Why, when everyone else smiles during the happiest moments in a movie, I start to cry. How I can forgive my friend who wasn't able to contain my deepest secret from escaping her lips. But I do know one thing. My looks do not define me. I am not better than the girl that sits beside me in literacy with a crooked smile and kind eyes. Because what matters more, straight teeth and a flat stomach or a gentle heart and intelligent mind? He approaches me with the stride of someone that takes pride in how many hearts he's broken, looking me up and down like a predator my assess its prey. He smirks at me, teeth white and pearly, and says, Hey baby, you look good today. My face turns scarlet pink, but I am not flattered. Flattery is when your best friend compliments you on your newest henna tattoo, the golden designs that swirl in a line to make you wonder why you ever thought art was just for paper. Flattery is not the immature sophomore boy informing me that he was shocked I don't have a boyfriend because I'm so pretty, as if being in a relationship is something every girl aspires to attain. My looks do not defy me, do not treat me like I'm just waiting for some guy to shower me with attention when all I want is for him to leave me alone. I do not consider a compliment my, when my teacher leans over my desk and tells me with her voice full of surprise that from the outside I don't look like the type to have the sort of intelligence that I do. I am insulted that people actually think the more attractive your face, the less of a brain you have behind it. But I guess that's no surprise because of people like our very own president, who objectifies women as creatures worth no more than the pleasure they give to men, worth no more than the men of this country that hold them back. And when he touches me, my close friend who I trusted with more than just my secrets, I am too scared to ask him to stop. But as his hand slides up my thigh and his fingers graze my neck, I want to scream that he is wrong when he assumes my innocence is an invitation for more experience. I thought he cared about more than just the skin that acted as a, to, as a cover to contain what I believe was truly important underneath. Now I can't help but think that what really matters isn't what my mother always taught me. It isn't who I am on the inside. When I judge myself, when I try to find worth in my own eyes, I tend to avoid looking at how I look, because every time I think about it, what comes to mind are all the things that were told to me by the guys who try to sexualize my appearance. In the end, it makes me hate myself all the more for being described as exactly what society defines a perfect girl should be. If you're trying to be nice, don't call me pretty. I don't want to be known for the way my eyes sparkle or how my smile is brighter than the sun. I want to be known for connecting with people on a deeper level, for helping the world with its sickness by making a difference in the life of someone else. I want people to remember me as a girl with a mind as brilliant as the stars in the sky and wonder how in the beginning they couldn't see that I was more than just a pretty face. Please look past my unintentional disguise. I do not want to be defined by my looks. Woo!